We're discussing ladies' bloomers. <laughs> morning. Good morning. Ah, Mr. Morgan. You seem chipper. Well, where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? We've been thinking about our problem all wrong. All wrong. That's all. Meaning? Girl? Hello. Okay, girl. <laughs>
Oh, Mr. Downs! You, uh, uh. Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Really? Threaten me, would you? <laughs> I don't care about your family. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me. Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm, I'm not running anywhere. I'm, 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 do, I'm doing my best for you. Wouldn't paying up have been a little easier? Pretty little bastard. But I got you now. Please, please, show some compassion. Please. If you'd been good, this wouldn't be happening. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of <gasps> charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money.
Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Reverend, I just want to thank you for saving my life. The liquor is not my friend, Mr. Morgan. It really isn't. I make such a fool of myself. Don't worry about it. You're a fine man. <laughs> Lying on the other hand, that really is a sin. Give me some leather working tools. I can make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. All right, I'll see what I can do. Appreciate it, Pearson. Hi there, Arthur. It's cologne. It's liquor. It's cologne from Cologne, Germany. <laughs> oh, I, I just had a few nips, Arthur. I'm not drunk. I'm just happy. <laughs> you know, you ought to try sometime. Drinking? Happiness. Try happiness. Just, just a little, huh? Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? Do you? Oh, before me? At least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The outlaw's trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on. You ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grade. Some nice.
go, damn it! Turf now, boy. God damn it to hell. Okay. Here. Don't get smug. This too shall pass. Let's see what you got. Yeah. 
I gotta go. All right. That is what I like to see. Easy, girl. Okay, girl. Would you be interested in some friendly competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? A real gunslinger? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles, wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Shoot! Ah, yes! Perfecto! Mierda! Damn it all! How the hell did you beat me, huh? Ugh. Better shot, I suppose. Oh, that didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? Alright, let's do it. Aha! Uh -huh. That's a good call, amigo. Okay. Whoever shoots four birds out of the sky first, wins. Simple enough? Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! <laughs> it was a good try, but <laughs> maybe next time, huh? 
Listen, you need to pay me for your loss, okay? I ain't giving you shit. Okay, give me what you owe me, cowboy. Interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. All right, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. Prove ourselves? 
to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs>